Okay, and the numbers are moving, so we are actually recording. We're live. So we have uh, reluctant uh, participants here. We have Marilyn Hedge and we have Linda Albanese. Albanese right. Okay, so our, now they have agreed to do this in tandem because they're shy. We're very shy. And uh, so. Um, we're from the class of 1974. That's why we're Okay, shy. why don't you go ahead and face that way so people can see you? Although. You know, uh, it's not that I don't want to see you, but they want to see you. So, Linda and Marilyn are from the class of 1974, the same uh, class, a year my wife graduated. So, um, they're... Vicki Smith. Vicki Smith, yeah. Oh, Vicki Copeland was back then, yes. Okay, we'll see. Is she here tonight? No, she's uh, babysitting her mom, who just had surgery. Oh, so, uh, so we, we're a lot, they're a little bit nervous as to what I'm going to ask them, and there's no reason to be nervous because I don't even know what I'm going to ask. So, so at least they're, they're they're getting friendly now. They're waving. Linda, I think, needs a nap. Uh, she looks like she's really reluctant. So, okay, so let, let's go back then to the class of 74. Did you, now you, I know, must, must have gone to school in Madison your whole. Yes. And, and Marilyn, did you? I went to Madison for four years. For okay, seven. make sure you speak up because it's kind of noisy. I went to Madison for four years. For four years, so yes. your your high seventh, school. Seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay. Seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Oh, so you so you didn't graduate from the class there. Okay, okay. Are you so, turn me oh, in? absolutely. Don't not. turn me in. No, 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 no. That that's not important. What what is important is that we knew you and you know, you interacted with you at some yes. point. So that's the important part. So whether people graduated with somebody doesn't really make that much difference. Thanks. So, okay, so you you were, what years, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, did you say, what was it? Seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, okay. Was your experience in Madison as good as in other schools? Did, how did Madison compare it with your experience elsewhere? I felt like Madison was home. Okay, so they did make you feel at home. It did. And it still feels and like And it home? grew roots. I felt like I grew roots in Madison. Okay, so you grew up in Madison. I grew up in Madison. Okay, so uh, 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 where else did you go to school? I went to, um, I graduated in Florida, Jacksonville. Okay, Jacksonville, Florida. Yep. All right, and uh, and you're living now where? You're, you're not in Madison now, right? I'm in Madison Township, West Side. Which, which township? Olmstead. Olmstead Township. Okay, I've heard of that. Yep. I couldn't tell you exactly where it is, but it, yeah, it's, it's the west, west side. side right? yes. And Linda, uh, your father was police chief, right? Yes, he was. So uh, now, how, how was that for you in Madison? Did that make it tough for you in school? Well, I didn't know any difference, so I guess not. Okay, <laughs> you know, so like, if there was a difference, you didn't know it. But yeah. kids didn't treat you badly no. or anything because no, no. your dad was the man. Right? No, most people liked him. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, there was another uh, police chief, uh, Gustinson. That's in the village. My dad was that, township. Okay, so township versus yeah. village. Okay. Yep. Good to know. See, I'm learning something here. <laughs> so, so, and so, so Madison, is Madison still home for you? For me, yes, it is. Okay, okay. So you've been here all your life? Or yes. Well, so I moved to, I lived in Twinsburg in Northville for okay. a while. So, and do you both attend your regular class hall? Class reunion? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, well, how, and how does that work out for you? Is it fun? Yeah. It's good. We'll have one next year. A big one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can invite me? Yeah, of course. And I can do this there? I hope so. Okay. Where, where do you think it's going to be? They're in the Talk planning to Sarah. stages next week. Sarah oh, okay. Quill. Are you part of the planning? No. no. Okay. Neither one of you? No. Sarah okay. Quell is the... Who is Sarah, Sarah Quell? Quell. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can I find her on Facebook? You can find yes. her And she's here. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I can kind of put a bug in her ear. Yes. I'm, I'm deciding if this is successful, if this works out, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, expanding a little bit. So if I could get classes to invite me, then I oh, could, be especially nice. when, you know, well, like you I won't. Well, you this part of the class, so you're invited. Well, she, oh, well yeah, she would be invited. Yeah, well, you're well I would too. be invited too, but I don't want to do this without permission. Oh, okay. Right. You'll, you'll get okay. Okay. You're, you're so that okay. So that might be fun. So Sarah Quinn mm -hmm. is here tonight. Okay. Yes. Shall Very we good. Show, shall we introduce you? Uh, yeah. Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point. She's yeah. still here. But I can find her on Facebook, can I? Yes. yes. Okay. So I can message her. Uh, basically, I want to try to get as many interviews in as I can. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so what have your your have you been to all of your class no. reunions? Not nearly all. Most of them. No. 
It's, it's very rough. few. You know Just what? the last maybe what, they five years? Going, well, I started going when they were here and at where it was a firehouse. Yeah. We kind of went there. So okay, well, this isn't your class, though. So this is all classes. Multi classes. So I've only been to a couple of my okay. classes. Okay. Do you find these more fun? Than these the, are more fun. Really? Now, I, I find my regular class reunion to be more fun because I know almost everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, if I went out here right now, I mean, I remember talking to you last year, and I've known you for a couple of years, uh, but um, probably at least 90% of the people out there I don't know. Not that that's a problem. Not that that's a problem. No, it's not a problem. No, that's not a problem at all. Now, do you agree that part of the success of doing this sort of thing is getting around and trying to talk to as many people as you can? Yeah. And do you both oh, do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. People that look like they don't know anybody, it's like they just go and ask them back. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, they're typically very receptive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but some some people are reluctant. They 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 worry about your motivation. Oh. You know, uh, at least they do for me. I don't know why that is. I look like the friendliest guy here, I think. But, but some people are kind of like, what's up with this guy? You know. I mean, so I, I don't know. I don't know. So, it's like you know, I don't worry about really thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. No, you know, you, you, if, if they're receptive, like you say, if you're receptive, you go for it. Okay. Not the, so. We're just here. We're just here for fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, are you driving home tonight? That's Ken's home. driving us home. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you met Ken. Your your husband. Yeah. yeah. yeah we talked about um, investing and stuff. Like he's sure. the best. He is a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. So, and you have a husband? No. Okay. No. Are you well, looking for looking. one? Yeah. Let's see what we can find. Okay. Well, let's you see want to you want to put an ad up no, right no, now I on do YouTube? Not. No. Thank that you. might work for it. I know, but well, it's, it might be better than like eBay or Craigslist. <laughs> I don't do that either. Okay. <laughs> so uh, they have to go through me. I'll interview them and I'll see. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. They didn't have good friends a very long while. Yes. So are you? Would you say as far as? Madison people, you two are like the closest. Like, are you like the best friends? Or do you have, best friend. we have Yvonne. And Yvonne, the best friend, but yeah. she's down here. She's having a baby. Her daughter is. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. was going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yvonne. Yeah. Her daughter. She's okay. having a baby anytime now, so okay. she couldn't come. She's not makeup, but she's here in spirit. I see. I see. Yvonne. Triska. 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 Yeah. Okay, I do know that name from yes. someone. Yeah, yeah. Um, you might know her sister, Carol. Carol Trust. Wait, what class are you? 71. Well, it's Carol. Mary Ann's class. And Carol was 7. Oh, okay. Okay, all Yvonne's right. Yvonne's sister. All right. Do you remember Carol Trust? Um, I may seven. sort of remember the name, but uh, um, no, I, I would say no, basically. I had a sister in class of 70 as well. Okay, all right. So, um, what, what are your biggest, this will be an interesting question to ask you since you didn't go very much high school here. What are, what are your biggest memories of high school? Anything particular that stands out in your memory? I just seem to always have a good time. And people were very receptive and they were kind. And I've met some of my best friends from school and we're still friends. So it means a lot. So, so you stay in close touch with them? And when, when you when you, uh, when you stay in close touch, how is that? Is that Email is it text? Oh, like right here. Okay, well, okay. Well, in your See, case, and then you bond and stay in touch with her. Okay, physically, yeah, yeah. stay yeah, in touch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, because a lot of the people I stay in touch with are via oh, Facebook, virtual. Yeah. via yeah, and, and it's still good. It's, it's still good, good to stay in touch. Yep. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But it's not quite the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing better than history and good friends. Uh, what in good friends? History and good friends. History. History. History with with, with your friends. History that you okay. Make with your people. Okay. And it's like the longer you go, the longer your friends, the more history you create. It's memories, basically. Yeah. 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 Memories, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and Linda, what, who do you stay in touch with other than? Van, just about it That's pretty school, much it. Yeah. yeah, you can't you can't stay in touch with everybody. Right. Just um, a lot of people on Facebook and who stuff. Who would you wish would show up tonight that you haven't seen in a long time? Oh my goodness, I don't even know. 
Anybody from Madison you can think of that you haven't seen in a long time? Most of the people that we want to stay in touch with, we actually keep in touch with. So. Yeah, but I mean, I've got... Do you know what yeah, every I know. single person that you see, and it's like the ones that come here after yours, like, like, I know, uh, Sue from our class. Sue, right. Sue Samson helped him. Yeah. It's just like, and then Debbie, it's just like, every, and then Sue, all the ones that we haven't seen in years. Years and years, yeah. And then Belinda, we've not seen her oh, in years. Oh, I know. It's like, all, I mean, it's like, you don't think it's about great. it. You see them every year, year after year. And then it's great to see the people just pop out of nowhere and see them. So it's all great. Yeah. I, I know uh, there's people that, that I haven't seen in a long time that I wish I was seeing. And for me, it's because I did so much of the research, oh. finding, trying to find people. I would like to find people and see people and meet them and talk with them. People that I found nothing on to find not a clue where they are, like they've fallen off the face of the earth. And of course now at our advanced ages, at least my advanced age, 60, all advanced. 65, <laughs> uh, some of them will, will be dead. I mean, some of them will be dead. You know what? People are now advanced, so 62 and 63, they're dead too. They were, oh, yeah. They were dead in the middle of the yeah. it's just like it's sad. Yeah. It's like you can't figure out something you're going to be dead, but it's going to be dead. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it does happen, for sure. So, um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Give me an idea what we can talk about here. I, I'm exhausting all my questions for tonight. <laughs> well, I appreciate you talking about Very yes. good. Well, I, I, I appreciate you guys taking the time. It wasn't easy for either one of you to do this. No, because we're shy. We're like, we're like shy as a little bit. Well, <laughs> I'm actually kind of shy, too. I, I know. Yeah. It shows. It, it, I, I actually have always been rather shy. I, I don't, um, it, it, depending on the situation, I guess, maybe. But uh, uh, I like meeting people. I, I, I enjoy knowing their stories and stuff. And, and uh, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Well, oh, thank you. And it seems like the people with the stories and it's like the people that not always have the best of their lives can create some really interesting stories. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like you just have to get through them and um, see what you can do. But some, some people's stories are pretty incredible. This is probably a better question to ask you. Do you have any idea how many people from the class of 74 have passed? What did we just, we just looked at it last night. There's probably at least 10, 15, yeah, there's a, ton, yeah, there was a, a lot. 10 to 15? Yeah, a lot more than I really thought. How, how many did you graduate? Do you, do you I remember? think they were all from graduating. You said 130 something? No, there was over 200 and something. And graduated, graduated class, in your yeah. class? There must have been because there was uh, somewhere around 240, 250 when I graduated. Yeah, I think there was about 260 something. Yeah. We were actually the first class to start our freshman year with over 300 students. So, and we and, and I, you don't remember this, but we were the first class to move into the new high school. Well, we were the first graduating class. You were the, the first. You were the first yeah. class to go there all four yeah, years. Exactly. We were yeah. the first graduating well, class. Well, why? Speaking of that new high school, why would they ever build steps with slats? On? I know, right? <laughs> Slats? No, well, like, you can see like up the stairs. Steps and they weren't solid steps. And just like, there was no really. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. You could, you could, you could yeah. look up. Yeah. yeah. What's up with that? How did these people? I don't know. I remember enjoying it yeah. very much. I'm going to see it. It's like, you know, like, I sometimes, I don't know my time to come up. Sometimes I go for architecture because it's just like they miss the boat on so many levels. Yeah. Uh, actually, when when I was in, in uh, student council, uh, we voted that so girls could actually wear jeans. I remember that we were allowed to wear pants. Beca and, and you know why that was? Because, because of the stairs. stairs. No, not the steps. We were in the old high school. We were in the old high school. Excuse me. And we had outgrown the new high, the old high school. And we had to have classes across the street oh, at Stratton Place. Uh, and the girls in their skirts were freezing oh, yeah, their butts off. Oh, wow. uh, and so finally we said, okay, the girls are cold. Uh, they should be able to wear jeans. 
And I, you know, I tell those stories to the kids I teach now, and they're just like amazed by it. Oh, I bet. And 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 when I uh, when I tell them that when I was in high school, girls didn't play sports against other schools. Right. They played GAA, Girls Athletic Association, which was intramurals. They didn't even play other schools, and they're amazed by it. They're absolutely yeah. amazed by it. So uh, it dates me, you know what I'm saying? It kind of kind of makes it makes me look old, but uh, I look old anyway. So uh, what are you gonna do? So, um, but yeah, they're they're always kind of amazed. That the other kids things the kids are uh, disappointed in is when they tell me or when I tell them I wasn't Woodstock. They're always disappointed I didn't attend Woodstock. Uh -oh. I didn't get invited. Nobody got invited. No, I know. That. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I honestly didn't know Woodstock was going on until it was over. And I was, uh, let's see, that was 69, I was only mm, yeah. 16. You know, I was only 16, 69. But 69 was Woodstock and landing on the moon, right? It was all the same year. Well, that was more important. Yeah, the moon thing was, was a big deal. Oh, but, I but, the, uh, but Woodstock was cooler in a lot of ways. Not but, in my house. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then Monterey Pop Festival. Yeah, oh yeah. They, I think they still have them, so I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, thank you girls. Thanks oh, for thank being you. reluctant in doing yeah. this. I hope thank I you. hope we can hear you ladies good enough. Uh, especially Marilyn kept facing me. Uh, and so I, I hope this is going to work out for us. So, I, I have that you want to look at yeah, them. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to look at this. Yeah. Well, I've done it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to doing it now. So yeah. I'm going to be a pro before this. Good. So, yeah, let's do so. that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank yeah. you.